have a 2017 Honda Odyssey. Gonna do rear brake pads and rotors. What you need to do is jack it up and support it properly. Remove your tires. Those are a 22 millimeter lug nut. And then you need to go over here to the caliper and remove the caliper. It has two bolts on it. Those are 12 millimeter bolts. And they look like that. You need to remove those. Get your caliper off. Inspect it. Make sure the boot's not torn or any brake fluid coming out from behind the boot. All right, if it does, then you need to replace it. Next you need to do is remove your caliper bracket. And that's held on by two 17 millimeter bolts. And they're on the back and they look like this. There's like one here and one there on the back side. So you need to remove both of those. So, you got them out, and then you can pull your caliper bracket out. And you need to remove your brake pads out of it and the hardware. Then, you need to verify that your pin slides are not frozen. Okay, if they're not frozen, that's good. If they're frozen, then your modules get a reman caliper. All right, so inside there, where those that hardware was, you need to clean that all up and then paint it. And same thing with just your pin slides. Pull them out, clean them up, put some new sill glide on them, and work them in there. Do not pack it full of sill glide. You won't be able to compress it. All right, so we'll get to that. Next you need to do is remove your rotor. If it's got a retainer on, then you don't need to remove the retainer. This one does not. And also there's supposed to be a little plug here, which it does not have. Somebody did brakes on it before. So if it's stuck onto the hub, you need to hit it with a hammer, put some penetrant on it. Get it off there. Kind of it's got parking brake on it, shoes. Inspect those, make sure they're not thinner than the metal part of the shoe backing okay or separating coming off all right so hold on so this hub you need to clean this hub up get it nice and cleaned up and then you can put some fine film of anises on it then you can put your new rotor on there and make sure you wash your new rotor remove the shipping oil from it and also you need to push your piston back in on your caliper. So we'll get some of this stuff going. All right, get the hub nice and clean. As you get it nice and clean, then you need to do is get some anises, put a light film on it. All right. And then after you get the light film on, you can get your rotor, put your rotor on there. Make sure you clean up some soap and water. Also clean up your caliper, push your piston back in. And then your caliper bracket, you want to clean up that surface. And don't forget about taking out your slide pins and put some sill glide on them. And then also paint it. All right, I got my bracket painted. Take your slide pin, twist it in some sill glide. Then go ahead, put it in here. As you're pushing it in here, twist it and just work it in there. And then push it in. Make sure it clips on over the top of it, wipe off the excess. And there you go. Do not, do not pack this with so glad you will not be able to compress the pin all the way. All right. So go ahead and let that dry. All right, count up a bracket. Got your hardware on there. So you got it all pushed in there. Ooh, see that? Good thing I caught that. Not on there properly, so gotta fix that. And then, 
put the bracket in there and get your bolt started. All right, you got your copper brackets on. Now you need to do is snug up your bolts and then torque them to 80 foot-pounds. All right, and the next thing you need to do is get your brake pads and put them in. They go in like this, put them in there, and act like little springs, get them in there and push them in. Like that, do the same thing with the inside one. You can get a flashlight and look at it on the inside. All right, then they also have these little, other little triangle springs. You put those in there. You gotta hold the brake pads together. So you'll need two hands to do this. Goes into the little hole in the backing plate of the pad. And when you do that, it will push the pads apart and get them out of bracket. So you need to get them both in there and your pads inside the bracket and then get your caliper on there, okay? So, hold on, okay? Squeezing it together to hold it, hold, it, hold it together, so that's how they go. Now you can go in there with your other hand and put the caliper on there and get it past the slides and then get your bolts, caliper bolts, and get them started and snug them up. All right, get your calipers on, get your bolts started, snug them up, and then you need to tighten them to 18 foot-pounds caliper bolts, okay? And if you have this plug, put the plug in. If you don't have it, you're whatever. All right, now you can put your tires on. Well, now you can do the other side. Do it exactly the same way as you did this side. I already did the other side, so that's why I said this. But, all right, so you got both sides done. Next thing you need to do is put your tires on. Put your lug nuts on, tighten them to 100 foot-pounds, lower it down to the ground, go inside the car, the vehicle, start it up, pump your brakes, make sure it's got a decent pedal, go inside the hood, look at the reservoir, top it off as needed, and that will be it. Just make sure you have a good brake pedal before you put it in driver reverse, okay? Because otherwise you won't have brakes until you do. All right. So that's it. Hopefully I helped you out with this video. Hopefully you can help me out by subscribing to me. And I appreciate it. And good luck. Thank you.